Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our 12th masterclass. Today, we're going to be looking at art and photography, and I'm joined today by Mrs. Priscott and Miss Curzon. Hello, ladies. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah. So Hello. we're going to talk about the course Art and Photography, which you both teach. And um, as always, anybody watching this live, we have a Slido open for you. So there's the code in the top right corner. It's 683173. If you go on there, you can type your questions and we can come to them at the end of this presentation. If you're not watching this live, then you're welcome to send us any questions that you have about this course. And I'll make sure that our experts can answer them for you and get back to you as soon as possible. So, Miss Prescott and Miss Curzon, thank you for joining me. So, my first question to you about art and photography is what is this course? What is art and photography in a nutshell, please? So, I'll, I'll talk about art and then Miss Prescott will talk about photography. So, when you look at art, we will study lots and lots of different types of media. So, you will look at anything from digital media to physical media. You can look at um, painting, oil pastels, drawing, we'll, we'll cover loads of different areas in that. Within art, you can actually do photography within art, but you cannot do art within photography. You have to be using a camera if you're looking at photography. Okay, um, Ms. Priscott? Okay, so photography is um, obviously a more in-depth uh, study in the use of the medium of the camera. So when you study photography, you'll cover a wide range of photographic skills and techniques, looking at the technical side of the camera. So you go and get into the nitty gritties of like shot speeds, apertures, like the kind of like actual kind of like um, use of the camera itself. You also look at different types of lighting styles, like high key and low key lighting, um, and also looking at a range of digital um, skills and techniques to explore how to be creative using the photographic process. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for that introduction. So why is it that you love um, art and photography so much, both of you? So what is your passion? Where does that come from? Who wants to go first? Um, I'll go first. Okay, so I love, it's the easier one, way to go, go first. Um, I love art as, a, as it allows you to be yourself. Okay, so for example, like you can use your art to express your feelings, your thoughts um, or opinions. Um, and I think you can do it in a way that no other art form can. So, you know, you can kind of like, you know, it allows you to kind of be much more versatile and diverse. Um, so, and it's really enabling to, so it kind of like makes kind of everyone all inclusive. Um, art can be anything and everything. And basically anything can be used to make art. Um, wow. so it's, Oh, you're going to sorry, sorry, go on. I was going to say, um, studying the arts is essential to understanding the world around you as well and helps you to become more, more self reflective. Thank you. Miss Curzon, why do you love art? I love art because I think it makes you think, feel, and look at the world very differently. Um, I think art stimulates our minds. It enables us to understand a range of emotions in ways that we didn't really ever think possible. Um, it's also really subjective and conceptual that one piece of work can mean so many different things to different people. And I find that really interesting. Um, and art also really helps reduce our stress levels. So it's always good. Excellent. Thank you. So, um, so our students watching now, they're probably going to want to know a little bit more about what they're going to study. You gave us a really good introduction to art and photography as two separate subjects. Maybe if you can explain a little bit more here about what route they go on and what in, is involved in each of them. Okay, um, I'll do that. So basically, um, this is obviously a brief overview, but we um, study the BTEC Level 3 Extended Certificate in um, Art and Design um, at Bexley Academy. And that means it's a very vocational course. It's geared to kind of like um, allowing you to become like a professional artist or professional practitioner within the creative subjects. Um, there's four units to complete. Okay, two of them are externally assessed and two of them are internally assessed. Um, and the modules kind of split up as follows. So you have unit one, which is recording and communication, and that is an externally assessed unit. And you kind of create a project from scratch um, and produce a final piece and have to evaluate it in the exam conditions. Uh, critical and contextual studies is your artists and designers. So you're kind of looking at a photographer, looking at an art and kind of writing an essay based on um, their type of artwork and kind of relating it to a theme. Unit three is probably my favorite project because it's called the creative process and it really allows you to kind of be individual. You basically can do a project on whatever you want. So whether it's photographic, art, graphics, you can do the project on kind of whatever theme you want, but you kind of follow the creative process um, as you go. Um, and then that's when you kind of select your um, specific kind of like technical unit. So, um, and this is normally done in the second year. 
So you might go to unit nine, which would be the specific photographic techniques and materials where you kind of look at the kind of proper, like I said, ins and outs of kind of cameras and like digital technology, or you do unit 12, which is the fine art techniques and materials and resources where you look at kind of like a lots of different types of things like, you know, like 3D art, uh, digital art, 2D, um, you know, painting techniques and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so yeah, so um, entry requirements, um, basically we um, desire um, a grade five at least in English and maths. We prefer it if you have a merit in, as well in art and photography, which is kind of like a grade six um, at the kind of GCSE. Um, yeah, complementary subjects are things like creative ICT, uh, things like media studies, sociology, business studies. Business studies is actually a really good one because um, it is really good alongside it because they're both very vocational and business studies is kind of like alongside it really kind of helps you to become like to help you understand how you can create a business as a fine artist or as a photographer. Um, so they do work really nicely together. Excellent. Okay, so um, is this going more towards, oh, here we go. Where can it take you? So if you choose to study on an art photography course, where can you actually go with it? What can it do for you in the future? So I'll, I'll take this one. So if you um, decide you want to go to university and study art, we would always recommend that you do an art foundation course. OK, so that would be a course where you go to university and it's a year's course and you will study every different element of art to find out which one you like the best. OK, you might have done that with us. OK, and you might you might be a photographer and you might say yes that's what I want to go into or you might find that you're a graphic designer and you want that's what you want to go into so you can you can do it um at straight from school go to at your actual degree but we do recommend doing an art foundation course and um, we have had students go on and do apprenticeships so um, we have got an ex-student a couple of years ago who's gone on to do um an apprenticeship in architecture um, so he's then he's gone to he's gone to a company he's getting his degree paid for, and he and he's working there as well and he's getting paid to work there. Um, but there are loads of other career um, pathways. You've got architecture, you've got fine artists, you've got designer, fashion, makeup, graphic designers, computer game designers, um, art directors, art therapists. So the, and there's loads related to art and equally there's loads related to uh, photography. So you can still go into like fashion you can still go into um, you can go into like wedding photography and um, graphic designers and things like that wonderful thank you lots of information there so we're going to go to some questions now from students that are coming in um one of them and this is often asked with the a-level subjects is do i need to have studied art or photography at a gcse level um, no, you don't need to have, but you will need to submit a portfolio of work. Um, so we do need to see your ability and your creative ability. Um, there is a summer task that if you do want to take it, we would ask that you complete that. And there's two tasks on there for you to complete. And that will enable us to see your skills and your creativity through that. Wonderful. I've got another question here. Um, Obviously, the equipment that you're going to be using throughout this course, is this something that students need to buy? So someone said here, do I need to buy any of my own brushes or equipment or cameras, I suppose, as well? So we do we do have equipment and um, we would expect you to buy some equipment, especially if you're going into more specialist um, areas. So we don't have things like oil paints uh, for you guys to use. Um, but we do have a lot of basic equipment. We do have brushes, we have watercolours, we, we have all the basic equipment. And um, we will also provide um, your paper and your canvases to work on. You will be expected to buy a sketchbook if you do art. If you do photography, you're going to be submitting your work digitally, so you don't need to worry about that. And um, we have cameras in school for you to use and to borrow. Um, but equally, if there's more that you want to be doing outside school, we would recommend that you buy a camera and buy a specialist camera. OK, thank you. Another question coming in here. Um, do we have any trips that we can go on? So we were, so we do like going on trips, but obviously it will be um, COVID regulated. So it just depends on the restrictions with COVID. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and um, do you enter any competitions? Is this next question? Um, yes, we do. So we have in the past had lots of links with London galleries, such as the Saatchi Gallery. And we've submitted work into them. We've done local competitions within Bexley, um, which we have won lots of. Um, and we also enter the academy competitions as well, which we've, we've also won as well. 
Excellent. And I suppose that is um, pending COVID regulations, whether they're going to be open up again. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. There's lots of, like I say, great information there. Um, hopefully we've answered everybody's questions. Um, if we haven't, please don't forget, you can send in your questions to us and we'll answer them. You can just email them to myself. Thank you so much. We've come to the end of this presentation now. So thank you very much, Mrs. Piscott and Ms. Curzon for joining me. And um, yep, yeah, remember to do get in contact with us if you'd like any more information on art and photography. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.